Hey guys, it's C2 here. Um, I hope my mic's okay. I was doing some testing and it seemed fine, but it might be a little bit low, so I'm sorry for that inconvenience. Um, I'm sorry for also being gone for a while. I had a lot of computer issues that I had to fix, not to go too in-depth, but basically Windows screwed me over so bad I had to reinstall, or I had to upgrade to Windows 8. And this stupid Indian guy that was trying to help me couldn't understand English couldn't figure out uh what i was saying through my phone it also took two weeks for him to get back to me so fuck you windows um i'm kidding i love windows i'd rather have a windows than a mac as a paperweight uh because macs are paperweight in my opinion um besides that for being racist towards computers uh let's see i'm going to be showing you guys in a two to three part tutorial on how to create this uh, from scratch uh, the first tutorial or first part of it will be setting up the lighting, the render settings, and then also uh, starting on some of the render, like the backing. Uh, the second part will be setting up all the geometry, I think that's the correct term, and uh, probably the materials, and I don't know what the third part will be, probably just uh, more ideas as I come up with them, and everything like that. So, to get started with this, we are going to go to File, Close, do not want to save, and then... Excuse me. We have a new one. Uh, we're going to start off with render settings, output. I'm going to want to change this to HDTV 6, uh, something 9, and then width 1280, excuse me, uh, by 720. Um, for resolution, bump this up to 300 because you might want to use it as a desktop background, and that's even better save png alpha channel checked on and then I, what i do is i just go to my desktop and then name it as like render that's the easiest thing i found um i don't do anything with multi-pass anti-aliasing we're going to keep it on geometry for time's sake so i'm not doing like 15 minute renders during the tutorial because that would really suck but in theory, if you're going to be doing some um, portfolio work, you want to have it at best, and then 16 by 16. So, yes, that's going to be the best thing for you to do. Um, but for our sake, we're just going to keep it at geometry. Uh, don't do anything with stereoscopic. We're going to click on ambient occlusion, global illumination, and also for if you're doing portfolio work, change the stoastic samples to high. And then same with the record density to high. And then smoothing to high. Um, that's really going to give you the best thing you can get. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is some color correction, saturation at 10%. That's all you want to mess with because if you mess with the brightness, I believe it messes up the alpha channel. And then same with like exposure and everything. You don't want to do that. Uh, effect. I'm sorry. The next thing we're going to want to do is object glow. Just because we're going to be using it later on. Um... And then we're going to want to get our camera set up, or our perspective set up, I should say. And what I'm doing for this is just kind of getting myself dead in the center. Uh, so that works right there. And now we're going to set up our lights. Um, first, we're going to start off with just regular light, MoGraph, cloner, drag the light underneath the cloner, change the mode to radial, the plane to XZ, radius to 500. I'll just set it right there, and then keep the count at 5. Uh, for the light, we're going to want to change it to 50%. Hmm. And then uh, shadow, we're going to want to click soft shadows. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is create another light. We are going to come into the four pane view. And we're going to zoom out on the top right. And just kind of drag this all the way back. So then it's right out of our perspective. See how it's moving in the top left? Just kind of bring it back. And then we're going to keep that at 100. And then we're also going to put soft shadows on that. Um, the next thing we want to do after that is I'm just going to give you guys an example of how this renders out. Uh, you see right here the light is kind of directed towards the middle. So that's dead smack in the center of the screen. And then it kind of shades out as it goes to the outside. Now it's not the most realistic lighting but it gets the job done. So we're going to delete that. Um... Now what I like to do is I will just create a null object. I will drag the lighting in here. So I'll select both of them, drag it in here, and then I'll rename it lighting. Just so I stay organized. Um, that's the best thing that I figure out how to do. 
And a little tip here for these things is if you're trying to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So if I were pulling a sphere right now, you can see kind of where the highlights are for the sphere. But as soon as you would click the show and render off, they turn off. But then it does render out right. But it just kind of gives you uh, kind of like the wrong like idea of how your lighting is if you if you mess with those. And sometimes when I find myself like turning objects off, I'll actually run over it. So just be on the lookout for that. Uh, we can delete the sphere. Um, really, this first part is just kind of setting it all up. The next thing we're going to need is a background. And I'll see where I'm at. We're at six minutes. That looks pretty good to me. That is setting up your basic Lightroom, basic uh, render settings. And then also um, the next part of the tutorial is going to be getting the geometry in there and probably some of the materials. I don't know if I'll get all of them in there or not. But that's basically set. That is setting up this abstract tutorial project, whatever you guys want to call it, walkthrough. And this is C2. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.